Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to be talking to you about seaweed. Specifically, a particular kind of seaweed. It goes by a couple of different names, one of them being sea moss or Irish sea moss, and then the more technical name, Chondrus crispus. I'm going to be sharing with you my experience with a specific brand, a couple of products from a specific brand called Organics Nature, and I'm going to be sharing my experience with you and um, how I'm using these products and how I feel they're benefiting me and how they can benefit you. And then we're going to be making a Dr. Sebi approved alkaline electric banana bread recipe. So stay tuned for that. We'll see how that turns out. So I have extensive experience with sea reeds and microalgaes. I've been using them both for medicinal purposes and culinary purposes for many years. However, I had never experienced the benefits of sea moss. So when Organics Nature reached out to me to see if I'd be interested in trying out their product, I was super excited as I still am, because I'm only on my second day. I just received the products yesterday and I'm gonna show you how that goes down. So this Irish sea moss gel, you need to put it in the refrigerator as soon as you receive it. So it does get shipped in a cold package like this. And it also came with a little freezy pack and surprisingly, now it's not gonna be free frozen when you receive it, most likely. It will turn into its gel form, but surprisingly, it was a pretty warm day. I think it was like in this high 70s, low 80s yesterday. And this pack was still cool. And even though there was a little warmth on the outside of the box, my product remained cool, which is important to maintain the integrity of the product. So once you receive it, as I said, you'll put it in the refrigerator and it says that it uh, maintains ultimate freshness for up to four weeks. Okay, so um, I actually used it yesterday. And the way that I used it was I actually put it on my skin at night. I thought I would use it as a moisturizer. Now, the funny thing is that um, although gels may have some moisturizing effects, it's not always the best moisturizer, but one of the areas where gels really shine is that they tend to have a very tightening and lifting effect. So I can definitely, definitely speak for its anti-aging benefits because what I did was I put it all over my face and then I immediately noticed that my face started feeling kind of taut and like it was, you know, getting tighter. And, and I thought, okay, I, this isn't really moisturizing. I can't sleep like this. So what, what I did end up doing is I wore it as a mask for about five minutes and then I rinsed it off. And then I put on a moisturizer that I use, which is more like a serum, which has a high amount of hyaluronic acid in it. And if you don't know, hyaluronic acid is well known for holding a thousand times its own weight in water. So it really draws and keeps moisture into your skin. And not to mention all the minerals that are contained in this product. So after I put the hyaluronic acid moisturizer on, it just drove all that good stuff into my skin. And I woke up just feeling so glowy and beautiful this morning. I actually, I'm not wearing any foundation at all. Which I usually don't, I prefer not to wear like liquid foundations or mousses or anything like that because they really, I don't know, they kind of irritate my skin. I, I may be allergic to something in them. They just kind of make me feel smothery and itchy. So um, if I do wear a foundation, I usually use like a mineral powder, something very light. Um, but today I wanted to show you the effects, the glowing effects. And so I do have um, a shimmery moisturizer in some certain areas to offer some highlight. But other than that, and a little bit of um, a little bit of um, concealer under my eyes because <laughs> uh, I've been working, working day and night. <laughs> but um, other than that, and most of my products are vegan. I try to stick to like vegan makeup products as best I can. So um, that's what I'm wearing today. I feel like Kat Von D, Elf. Uh, Kylie Jenner, but today we're talking about Organics in Nature, and um, as I said, I'm not wearing any foundation at all, and I feel like super glowy. I feel dewy and 
you know, lively and cute. So feeling cute and <laughs> so it, that's one way I'm using it. And then what I, and I'm going to go through that process with you actually. So what I did is, so this is what I did and, um, this is, so this is what I did and I thought of a way to improve this process. So let me share that with you right now. So what I did was you want to use, um, some type of something like this. This is like a beauty spatula. And the reason you want to use something like this is because you don't want to introduce any contaminants into the product itself. So you just use a clean spatula. Maybe you could use like um, a butter knife or something like that would work, a spoon, just something that's clean. And then I'm actually going to use more than what I used before because I want to do, I want to do a little experiment here. So I don't, you probably can't see this. I'm not sure if you can see this from, from there. Maybe I'll try to zoom in, but so it, it is a gel, but it's also, um, I don't want to say gritty. Gels are gelatinous, obviously they're gels, but sometimes there can be, they may not be entirely homogenous. Sometimes you can encounter a uh, little balls in the gel that are thicker than the rest, you know, and tiny as they may be, um, when the gel begins to dry, you will definitely notice, you know, some little, uh, little danglies hanging off your face and it's not cute. <laughs> so I had this idea to, um, blend it up with my, um, my frother and just see if it'll help. So let's go ahead and do that and see if we can get it to be more homogenous. If we can blend out some of those little, little balls of thickened gel. And then I'm just gonna, uh, not entirely sure if they're going away. Might have to work on this a little bit more. In theory, it should work in Marie's crazy world, in Marie's crazy head. In Marie's crazy world of infinite possibilities, this should really work. <laughs> Actually, it does look pretty good. It definitely looks smoother. So I'm going to put this in the fridge and I'm going to try this later tonight and I'll let you know how that turns out. Okay. So, um, now for the fat burner, I actually took one of these yesterday and I took one today. Now I have been on a, um, uh, on a sort of a body transformation journey for a while now. Um, COVID really did a number on me. I used to work out religiously, probably too much. I was a little bit of an extremist. I mean, there was a time in my life when I was doing like double shifts. Like I was going to the gym twice a day. Okay. And oftentimes five, sometimes seven days a week. So needless to say, I was pretty freaking fit. Yeah. But, um, I, life is about balance and that was a cool experience and you can transform your body, but um, I'm trying to definitely embrace and incorporate way more balance and harmony into my life now because I want to have time and expertise and experiences in many different things. So um, that has definitely caused me to work out less, although now it's like like way less and I need to like bring that back up. I do do yoga at home often. And even though I have workout gear at home, and I sometimes, you know, will throw in a work, squeeze a workout in, it's just not the same as the gym. You just don't have all the same equipment available to you um, to do various different things, like, you know, your, your cardio, your aerobic activity, your weight training, um, just all the different things, you know. So, so I, I am going to start incorporating more of that as soon as I find the time. <laughs> but anyways, um, 
So this says to take two capsules a day and you're supposed to take um, one in the morning and one in the evening. I felt like this gives me energy. So I'm not going to take one in the evening. Also, I tend to be one of those persons who is very, very sensitive to like a lot of things, particularly supplements. Um, pretty much whenever I try a new supplement, I'm going to say 50 to 70% of the time, maybe even 80. I usually get a headache, you know, the first day or so, maybe the first three days. And so, um, I, I will give it a fair shot and see and if it continues to give me a headache, then I'll just usually return it. So I had a mild headache yesterday, but today I'm good. I'm, I'm feeling good. And this level of energy is, um, it's pretty good for me. There are no stimulants in this product. I am super as sensitive to stimulants. I don't even drink coffee. I mean, rarely if I'm like desperate. Now I drink coffee for the flavor, but I'll usually drink decaf. But if I'm just really like needing to push myself, you know, over that hurdle or something, complete a project or just get through a crazy week or crazy couple of days, I will drink some coffee. The reason I don't drink regularly caffeinated coffee is uh, it's just too overstimulating for my adrenal glands. And when I come down, oh, it's, it's brutal. It ain't pretty. <laughs> it's pretty brutal is what it is. So anyways, I was super excited to see that there's no stimulants in this. It's a simple, like one, two, three, four ingredients, cayenne pepper, which is actually like thermogenic. I'm sure you've been hearing about that guy all over YouTube talking about like, um, thermo, what does he call it? Thermic, high thermic foods. Um, well, I've known about this for a really long time. Actually, one of them that's really, really good too is, well, I'll tell you later at the end of the video. <laughs> or maybe in my body transformation video. But anyways, um, so cayenne pepper is definitely one. And what, what that does is it increases heat in your body. And so thermo, you know, thermo is heat. Genic is, or genesis is creation. So it just creates more heat and obviously you know, the more heat that's going on in your body, the, the more you're able to burn off um, the adipose tissue, and which is another word for fat. And then of course the, um, the Irish moss in powder form in here. And what else? There's a green select phytosome, and we'll talk more about that later. And L-tyrosine, which is an amino acid. And L-tyrosine is really, it's kind of an interesting, sort of complex uh, ingredient uh, to understand. Uh, it, apparently it appears in a lot of different fat burners, although it's not necessarily a fat burner in and of its own right, but it sort of facilitates fat burning. So um, I, I'm i not sure if I'd compare it to um, like what creatine does. So. So ATP is the major, um, ATP is adenosine tri triphosphate, is the energy that your muscles use when you work out. And what creatine does is it causes, so tri, triphosphate means three, right? So you have three phosphate molecules. So what creatine does is it causes one of those phosphate molecules to actually cycle back around instead of it just sort of being done and over with and you you know used up it will cause one of them to go back into the cycle and in that way you know give you more energy more more half-life so um yeah i don't know if i'd exactly compare it to that but it does facilitate fat burning and that's why you find it in a lot of these uh different what i'm trying to say about l-tyrosine is that it helps the fat burning neurotransmitters, AKA catecholamines, stick around in the body longer, um, kind of in the same way that creatine monophosphate helps ATP stick around longer to increase energy production. And also incidentally, um, intense exercise also increases catecholamine levels. So this is just a reminder that it is important to uh, include physical activity for the best results. So let's talk about the fourth ingredient, uh, Green Select Phytosome. So Green Select Phytosome is a proprietary formulation of an extract from decaffeinated green tea. 
and it has been shown in studies to actually help reduce body mass index. And in one study in particular, it stated compared to the control group, green select phytosome was especially effective for weight and waist changes. So I don't know about you, but I think that's pretty exciting because I do feel that a lot of us have um, more issues carrying weight around the midsection or, or getting rid of that extra weight. And so the fact that this uh, has an ingredient that does that, I think that just really bumps us up to another level. So that's really good to know. Um, and I will leave a link below uh, actually to that study. And also I'll leave a link to the information about L-tyrosine. If you're interested, you can check that out. So I have to say that although I haven't lost a tremendous amount of weight in pounds, I do feel as though I've lost um, circumference around my midsection. I do feel like my waistline is smaller. You'll be able to see that in the pictures for sure. And um, so I feel like what it's doing for me is more of like a recomposition, which is good because that's kind of what I'm after. Um, a lot of times you may not have a lot of weight to lose, but you may just want to sort of recompose the way that weight is distributed on your body. And as I had stated before, um, I am in the in the midst of a body transformation or recomposition. I'm kind of taking it slow and low right now because that's all time will allow for me. But I do know that as soon as I'm able to get back into the gym and work out more frequently, I know I'm gonna see more rapid progress because that's just the way my body is. And I've been doing this for a long time. And I definitely think I'm going to uh, keep this as a tool um, in my repertoire for that journey because um, there's so many positive things about it. And I think it's a really uh, safe, gentle, effective tool for that. And I especially like that um, that it's stimulant-free. So as probably one of the first stimulant-free fat burners I've ever tried, I'm really thrilled about it because I like to be able to have the freedom to take stimulants um, as I choose if I need them. Like I do take green tea extract sometimes before a workout, but sometimes if I'm good on just drinking green tea and taking my branch chain, branch chain amino acids, my peri workout supplements, then I don't really need it. So this gives you the freedom to do that. And incidentally, I ran out of product before I was able to finish this video, except I did save one capsule because I wanted to be able, whoop, I wanted to be able to show you guys that it's definitely not a hard pill to swallow. Okay. But I have to say I've been out for about five days and I definitely have noticed more cravings more frequently earlier in the day. Um, I do uh, intermittent fasting. I'm just not hungry in the morning. So I usually don't eat until like maybe two to three in the afternoon. Sometimes as late as between six and eight or nine is my feeding window. But um, I did notice I feel hungrier earlier and I couldn't get away with as much cheating as I was able to do <laughs> when I was taking it. I have to be a lot more strict about what I eat and when I eat. So uh, those are just a couple more benefits I wanted to throw in there. So this was my experience with Organics Nature. And if you're interested in checking them out, I'm leaving an affiliate link in the description box below. And actually you should check them out if you're interested in any type of supplements that address energy, immunity, detoxification, inflammation, anti-inflammation rather, anti-aging, um, longevity, um, that's kind of what their products are geared towards. And the Organics Nature site is really nice. It includes a lot of really good information. Um, so definitely check that out. And also definitely check out the part two or follow up to this review um, where we'll be making um, a Dr. Sabi inspired alkaline banana bread using a, nothing more than Irish sea moss gel as a binder. There's gonna be no dairy, no eggs, no gluten, um, no baking sodas, no baking powders. So that'll be kind of interesting to check out. So definitely stay tuned for that. And thank you so much for watching this video. Much health and happiness to you all, and I will see you all next time.